Hello there gamers, Gondor here and welcome back to Let's Play Heart of Darkness. Last time, we came across the worm who was trying to put the magic rock back together. And so he wants us to go ahead and find the pieces which are scattered throughout the castle in hopes to put the magic rock back together in order to defeat the Master of Darkness. But will he use it to defeat the Master of Darkness or will he use it to turn against us? Well, who knows. Okay, there we go. I've got it now. I know how to solve this little puzzle. Okay, now, has that moved? No, it has. Ah, right, okay, I get it. I'm gonna hit that switch to open this. And then use our weapon to push the magic rock piece all the way down. But of course we actually do have to take out these things. But luckily we managed to take out one of them. Okay, now we took out the other one. That's fine, so now we can start bringing this magic rock piece back to the worm. Go. Otherwise, you will get crushed. Right, and then we stand on switch. And then use our weapon to move the magic rock piece along. And then do exactly what we've done before. I could take the ladder down, but Falling down the holes is a lot more quicker. Ah, uh, see, look at that, the magic rock is almost complete. Should be careful, it's the last piece! Could be. Well, now what? No! Yes! A bit's missing! There's always some tiny little bit missing. That's. Yeah, there's always a bit missing. On the bridge! We have to have it! <laughs> okay, well, the only way to get, to get to the bridge is to go back this way. But let's see, can I crawl under this bit now? No, I can't. So, we're going to have to find some way to get to the bridge. But will we be able to get to the bridge? Well, who knows? Oh, it's whiskey. Bye. Bye. Oh. <laughs> Morons! You have a microsecond to find my little doggy woggy. Well, where's your little doggy woggy gone now? Huh? Where is he? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> it's equal the money you'll save on dog food. <laughs> Warum? When I see you again, I'm going to shove this gun right through your nose and I will pull the trigger. You do not kick my dog into a swirling dark vortex. Gotcha. Right, I don't think there's anything through here. Nope, just a dead end. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, if I remember right, we are now actually getting evaporated. But no, um, yeah, we are now actually close to the end of the game. All we've got to do is get that last uh, magic rock piece and we shall be golden. 
But of course we're going to have to get rid of these armoured creatures first. That's the only bad thing. And, and if you can see the wall behind me, the one with all the spikes on it, I'm pretty sure that's the same wall that the worm would have been thrown in um, right at the start of the LP. Well, when we saw the Master of Darkness for the first time. So yes guys, here we are. This is the bridge. Of course, it's, it's not going to be easy because we have shadows to take care of. So, there's really nothing much we can do. Yeah, don't worry about that spiked wall, it won't damage us for some strange reason. But we do have to be careful because now that we're on the bridge, we have shadows to take care of, like I said, but we also have the Master of Darkness to deal with. Unfortunately, we can't harm him. And he fires two energy blasts towards us. Well, one energy blast towards the floor, but they'll split into two going each way. So, uh, so not only, only are we going to have to deal with the shadows, but we're going to have to avoid his attacks. Because if that happens, we need to start back here again. And that can be very annoying. So, I would highly suggest that you take more time because, believe it or not, as soon as we've reached the end of the bridge and got that last um, magic rock piece, we're, uh, we're just one more area away and then that's us finished the game, guys. Yep, no joke. So, we just gotta take our time. Be careful. So just keep spamming that cross button until you double jump over the mass of darkness's attacks and then shrug off any shadows that grab you. Again, just don't even think about running past all these shadows. Just take him out. And of course we have armoured creatures to deal with. So we need to avoid their attacks as well. Oh, that was bad. So yes, it doesn't matter how far you get on, on the bridge, if you fail, you'll, you'll have to start back here again. Oh, I thought I got rid of you. Great, now because of you, you stupid armoured creature, I've brought the shadows onto this screen, which is going to make defeat you slightly more difficult. Okay, there we go. Right, so that's got rid of those ones. Now we have to take out these ones again. Okay. Right, so far so good. Yeah, I think you want to jump as soon as the Master of Darkness' attack actually hits the floor. And make sure that none of these shadows actually get behind you. And also make sure that none of them actually grab you as well. Oh, damn it! I didn't even see that there. Yeah, see, that's the problem. Because there's so many shadows on screen, it's very difficult to actually 
see attacks coming at you. So this bit might actually take a while because this is very, very difficult. And if anyone says that they can get through this in one go, well, I don't believe them. Because even for gaming experts who, uh, who know everything about this game, I doubt they'd be able to do it. Unless of course if there's already a video up on YouTube or something where someone's actually put up some gameplay of them playing this game and they never took a single hit, then I'll believe it. But for now, I don't. Alright, so that's two parts of the bridge done so far. Oh, that one's firing a strong attack. No, fire the other way, um, handy. Okay. Okay, the Master of Darkness isn't firing at us. Oh, come on! Right, that wasn't funny. Great, now I need to deal with an another two. Alright. Come on. Uh, I'm probably guessing that you would probably want to use the same technique as I used before. You know, like the look left and right and fire as well. Right, now, so that's part one of the bridge done. Now for part two of the bridge. Okay. Oh, that was lucky. So yeah, you've really got to be careful when you jump to avoid uh, the massive dancer's attack. Okay, so far, so good. Let's see, now he's attacking. Oh, that one's... Those armored creatures are attacking as well. Damn it, I didn't even see that there. Man, this is not funny. But this is what I do mean by this game being so damn difficult. Although, I am very sorry if this video is just me constantly trying to get across this bridge. But, that's the way I'm playing it, guys. You know? I'm not really a big fan of cutting anything out, you know? I always like to show people exactly how I get through things. Even though that I did kind of cut something out in my Castlevania LP, but that one I made an exception to because, well, that was blind. This game isn't blind. So, yeah, maybe I should do it that way. Maybe like, cut stuff out if it's like a blind Let's Play or something. But, we'll see. I'll probably end up changing my mind and not cutting anything out, but for now, 
I don't want to cut anything out. Because for me, that kind of like ruins the experience. Especially if I go back to watch some of my videos. Damn it! Oh. Just go. Come on. Just attack him. Yeah. Ah, and that's the other thing, when one of these wee brain things are right below one of these armoured creatures, you'll be attacking the armoured creature instead of the brain. Gobbling me up this time. <sighs> Come on. Just get rid of all these shadows, please. At least I do know now when to make my jumps to avoid um, his attacks. Ah, <sighs> okay. Right, well, you know what? I think I'll, I'll, I'll pause it here, and I think I'm going to stop the video here. So guys, next time, I'll let's play Heart of Darkness. Hopefully, we'll get to finish the game. Hopefully. So, I'll see you guys then.